In this video, I'm going to show you a safe and easy way to kill cyanobacteria, that awful red slime that can build up easily in a new tank. This is a holding tank, so there's no sand bed in which denitrifying bacteria could live, which would convert nitrate and organics into N2, which would be bubbled out of the tank. And there's also no macroalgaes, which would help with nutrient export and nitrate export also. In fact, I left the skimmer and the UV off this tank just to do this video. I wanted you to see that in the absence of any kind of nutrient export, or if you let your water changes go, photosynthetic cyano will take over. At this point, cyano is outcompeting all the good bacteria, and it's winning the fight. While cyanobacteria itself and even nitrates don't technically hurt seahorses, the indication that your buildup of nitrates and organics being high will eventually hurt them. Besides, it's disgusting. So I'm going to show you a way to kill the cyano. But please believe that it will come back if you do not fix the root issues, which we'll go over in just a minute. The problem with most cyano treatments is that they are antibiotic based, which can cause future harm to your tank. ChemiClean is not an antibiotic and I've used it safely on everything from SPS dominated tanks to macro tanks to fish only. As with any chemical or treatment, you need to mix the water with the chemical outside of the tank. So get yourself a scoop of water, mix in the appropriate amount of the ChemiClean for your tank. Always use water volume, not tank size, to measure. In my case, I have about 29 gallons of actual water, so I'm gonna use three, almost three, scoops because the correct dose is one scoop per 10 gallons. Mix it thoroughly and make sure that when you put it back in the tank, you distribute it evenly over the top or you can pour it near a power head or a return or anything like that that will spread it throughout the tank. Make sure to remove any carbon or removing type products as they would just remove the ChemiClean and it wouldn't work. UV and skimmer needs turned off if you have one. And the one thing they do say is that ChemiClean can affect the oxygen in the tank. So adding an air stone or a sponge filter is a really good idea. Um, just create that extra oxygen in case. I've never had an issue with it, but who knows? I've always used the air stones. Another way is to make sure that your return is above the water line and making a waterfall into the tank. That creates surface agitation and creates more oxygen. You also keep a bag of carbon on hand, and if you see any issues, just take the ChemiClean out. Okay, we're 24 hours into the treatment. As you can see, some of the red is turning brown and dying off. I still see cyano, but the fish are fine. Um, they're, they're not thrilled, of course, um, but they're fine and it's working. The fish are not breathing heavily and things are going well. And 48 hours later, as you can see, the red is dead. Anything that was red is either gone or it's turned brown. This is when I'm going to do my 20 to 30% water change to and scrub all those plants, removing all that dead stuff and turning on a skimmer. If the, cyan if the cyano was still there, you could do a second 48 hour dose, but I've never needed to. After my water change, cleaning my plants and etc., you can see the tank looks marvelous again. The sponge filter shows signs of still having the beneficial bacteria in it to keep my tank cycled, so it did not harm my filter. The fish weren't hurt, and it is a great product. But again, it's just a quick fix. In this tank, I set it up to be a cyano breeding ground to show you how ChemiClean works. But if you're having issues with cyano, you need to get to the root issue. It could be anything from low pH to high phosphates, feeding too much. There are endless reasons, but you have to figure out what's wrong with your tank. I have a wide array of test kits and I test my tank weekly. 
I use API test kits for the basics just to give me an idea of where I'm at. Um, and then I use Red Sea or Salifert if I need to know exact numbers. Um, in this tank, I just need to know approximately if my phosphate is like off the charts or what. So after the chemi clean treatment, we'll see what we end up with. Make sure to do all your testing in a brightly lit room. I chose a really bad place to do this video. However, after the chemi clean treatment and after the big water change, my phosphates are mm, between 0 and 0.25. Still have a lot of work to do to get them down to where I need them to be on a fish only tank. The next thing that I'm going to test is my pH. I have a pretty stuffy house and I know that my pH usually runs low, which can also contribute to the problem. There's a wide array of chemicals and products and etc. that can help you, but for me, I think this, the skimmer is the number one thing that will help. So it's added with a UV and the seahorses are happy.